How to use retentive impression copings from Toman Medical. This video is part of the Toman Medical e-learning video series. We start by removing debris from the screw head of the healing cap or gingiva former. We do this with a sharp explorer. We align the driver with the long axis of the implant and we apply apical pressure as we loosen the gingiva former. The screw carrying ability of the mono torque driver allows us to lift the gingiva former up out of the implant. We then clean and dry the internal aspect of the screw channel with water and air. We insert the retentive impression coping into the implant. We verify that the impression coping is fully seated, that there is no debris, and that no tissue is trapped underneath the impression coping. We place the impression screw into the retentive impression coping. We verify that the coping is fully seated. We then hand tighten. We verify the tray size for the patient's dentition. We need to identify a hole that needs to be cut for access to the screw. We double check to make sure that there's no interferences and that the impression tray slides easily in and out and over the top of the screw head. The screw head needs to be tall enough to stick up enough so that we can actually remove it once the impression is taken. We use flowable impression material around the coping and then we fill the tray with a regular body impression material. We place the tray by locating the screw channel. After the material is set, we loosen the impression screw by hand or we use the mono screwdriver if necessary. Before removing the tray, we pull up the impression screw to make sure it doesn't interfere with the removal of the impression tray and coping. We verify that the retentive impression coping is firmly seated in the impression and it's not moving or rotating. We then attach the implant analog. Remember, the analog will serve in the model as location of the implant. We tighten the impression screw and the impression is ready for laboratory procedures. Want to learn more? Our local customer service teams are standing by.